Morning everyone. Bit of a different one this morning. It's not a car boot or charity shop that we're heading to. We're actually heading to Lidl. Some of you might be aware that they're dropping their own clothing range again in the form of bucket hats, trainers, man bag pouches, that kind of thing, I believe. I think last time they dropped their clothing line in 2021, 2022, it was pretty popular, sold out pretty quick. And resellers were selling the trainers at a larger amount than they uh, were obviously sold originally. So I'm gonna take a punt and I'm gonna go and try and get some size fives and size nines uh, just to put into storage and hang on to them for a little while. And then when the time's right, pull them out, list them, hopefully make some money off them. It's not usually the kind of thing I do or go for, but I'm just trying to obviously start in the channel, broaden my horizons and uh, branch out into to different areas. So wish me luck. Hopefully I'll get there and there's not a queue and they haven't all been mobbed. I said I was gonna get there before eight, before doors open. It's one minute to eight now and I'm still six minutes away, but yeah. I did speak to a woman on customer services last night who told me that she used to work at a London branch and the last time they dropped the clothing range, people actually camped outside overnight for these. I find that hard to believe. We'll see. She also told me that there was a 12 item limit on singular items as like a bulk buying policy in each store. She did say that was subject to manager's, manager's discretion. So some may tell you you can only take less some may turn a blind eye and let you take more. I guess it depends on which uh, person you get on the checkout at the time as well. So we'll see. Let's see how we get on. I'm hoping to get there and find a massive pile of them and get as many as I can. That'd be the dream. But these things never go to plan. So we'll see you in there. Let's see how this one goes. There they are. So we've got two different styles. I don't know. A card, please. Yeah.
Just that, please. Yeah, sure. Uh, it was from the box set, so I think the lady in the back said they were two fifty each. Thank you. That thank you. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> there, you should put that in your wallet. <laughs> Just that, please. Thank you. Harrods. Six for one twenty nine. What we got, what we got. Like Here we go.
Thank you. Just these then, please. I've got a little one here, yeah. These were all on the five for a pound children's section, the DVDs. Yeah, I think that's what it said. Five kids DVDs for a pound, yeah. Thank you. Top shelf. Hello everyone, it's me again. Uh, as usual, the GoPro battery died. We're sorting that out now though. I've got a new one on order, so I'll have a couple that I can cycle out. So uh, there won't be anything missing from future episodes. This is a quick roundup of the haul I got earlier on. I'll give you a quick rundown. The DVDs, uh, they were five for a pound again. Uh, got Toy Story, full movie collection there, Blu-ray. And the rest I just like to, I'm collecting at the minute just to do little bundles with. Some of them I'm just gonna rip and uh, sell on. Got a little Uniross compact battery charger there for two pound. They're about a tenner used online. We've got a server Carina medium rain suit. Just had a look online. There's uh, like a, an outdoor military surplus store selling these for about 32 euros. So that was a good find. That was £2.50. We've got a Garmin Forerunner 10 watch. I think I've overpaid for that, to be honest. That was eight fifty. It works. It charges. Mm, not sure on it. Maybe overpaid there. This one I should make a little bit of profit on. Got a Krug Borman. Uh, it was £7.50. It's an 18 karat gold. Let's just focus on that if I can. It's a bit bright out here. Uh, 18 karat gold men's watch. Uh, they're about, it needs a battery, but they're about 20, 30 quid maybe online. I thought it would have been a bit more again. Not great, but profit. Then we've got a Messenger ballpoint pen, 23 karat gold there. Paid £2.50 for that one, I think. Yeah. That, I couldn't really find many listings for that on eBay. The ones I did find were just for sale. There was one up for like 25 quid. I'm hoping I might be able to make a little bit of profit on that. We've got a Norwegian, teach yourself Norwegian, CD, and course book three quid they're about 20 30 quid on ebay the ones i've seen we've got a little playmobile tiger biplane stunt plane with all the figures and accessories 
paid two quid for it. It's not actually worth a great deal. I think I messed up there again, but it'll sell. I won't lose my money on it, but not great profit. But the one that saved the day, we have found a five book set of Jane Austen novels. We've got Northanger Abbey, Persuasion, Emma, Mansfield Park, Pride and Prejudice and Sense and Sensibility. I've just had a look online. This exact set has sold within the last month for 120 quid. Uh, in fact, it might not have been 120. I think that one actually... Uh, he took an offer on it, so yeah, must have been close. I'm hoping there was another one, uh, another set as well, identical, same books. That was 105. They were talking the 100 quid region, they were £2.50. So they have saved the day today. Uh, we've also got all the little trainers and flip flops that I went to uh, queue up for a little earlier. So I'm not sure if I'm going to put that in the same video. Or do a different video but you'll see it all anyway uploaded on the channel thanks for tuning in and I'll see you in the next one